Hi friends, today we are going to learn about the roll curve joint. In this joint, we are going to apply a revolute joint plus a row curve joint. So, I want to rotate this wheel on this base. So, let's see how we can do it. So, right now I have imported these two all these components to assembly design. So, I need to constrain this or you need to keep it one direction so right now i'm going to fix this components so constrain these components so clicking here to the base okay let's update hmm. now every component is arranged so let's go to dm kinematics right digital mockup dme kinematics so here we can apply both the revolute joint plus roll curve joint mechanism so first of all we are going to fix a component giving the name roll curve joint so i'm fixing this component now i'm going to select revolute joint or you can go to new joint revolute joint so selecting the center axis and tab okay selecting this contact surface and this one if you want you can give a offset distance angle driven okay so the mechanism can be simulated okay so next step again revolute joint clicking on the center axis hidden axis same procedure next selecting the surface selecting this surface clicking on the angle driven if you want you can click the angle driven so the, again the mechanism can be simulated okay so now we can see here we cannot apply so i'm going to assembly design further and making a move okay let's go to digital mockup dmu kinematics I'm applying once again revolute joint so selecting the surface selecting this surface okay okay clicking on the angle ribbon okay so the mechanism can be simulated till now it is okay now we are going to apply roll curve joint mechanism so here is a roll curve joint or you can go to insert new joint roll curve joint so in this case it is asking for curve 1 and curve 2 so where we can select it, this line as a curve 1 and uh, line curve 2 as this one bond click on the length driven so the created command has no effect on the degree of freedom so okay click on the okay option so now we have all the elements all the joints are constrained so let's remove each and everything so clicking remove this length driven there are too many mechanisms to constrain it so okay once again you remove angle driven the mechanism has too many comments okay next removing another links okay here it goes the mechanism can be simulated click ok so if you go in this way you can get where you are making any mistake if your joint is not correct you can get noticed by this process now we are going to simulation process roll curve joint click ok insert change the loop direction reducing the speed play forward or you can go through one direction 
it is a process of revolute joint and roll curve joint hope you all like this video in my next video i'm going to show you some more advanced links uh, thanks for watching hope you all enjoy with this video thanks